Hi everyone, so I've decided I'm going to do some vlogging today and I'm just in the middle of shaving. So I've got kind of half of a like pirate look, like mm, hi, terroristy. And then half of me is like, ooh, slightly, slightly more. I'm going to finish shaving now. Hello! Okay, I'm not sure if I should be wearing a coat, but I'm going to go and get the car cleaned out now. Come with me. I mean, should become pretty apparent why we're getting the car cleaned. Hashtag flaky bants. So my initial plan was gonna to be to walk downtown and have a mill around, because I thought it'd be like an hour or something, but it's actually only gonna be half an hour. It'd take me like half an hour to walk there and back to town. I might just have a mill around in Tesco, see what I can see for how long it takes, I suppose. And then I might, well, there's nothing else near here, so then nothing will happen. That extreme value. Hobnob uh, summer raspberry flapjacks. Look quite good. £1.30, not a bad price. Um, or of course you could have the uh, Hobnob raspberry flapjack. Obviously they're not summer, which you know is much brighter and warmer. But uh, you do save 30p. Uh, different packaging as well, arguably better packaging in, in my opinion. Uh, but you know, you, you've really got to ask yourself, is that worth? losing the summer aspect uh you know for 30 pence i don't feel it is so uh fucking hell so getting the car clean is pointless absolutely pissing it down um no car is actually spotless inside and out to be fair but yeah um good i've been rubbing my eye and i think it hurts a bit because i think i might have had polish on my finger mm. Favourite view. That candle really smells. Too zoomed in. As you all know, probably well enough, I work extremely hard on my YouTube channels, fact. And I've been particularly proud of Lego Burst recently. I've kind of nailed down my USP and thusly I've focused on it. That is personality and unique content. Um, so many Lego channels just do the same thing. Just no personality and just news, um, little opinions. Um, fair play, no, I'm not saying there are no good LEGO channels, of course not, because there are, there's plenty, like Just Too Good is one of my favourites for example, and he's deservedly got a lot, lot, lot of success, which is great. The um, thing that's slightly disappointing is I have watched that figure, 2715, I have watched that go down from 2719 today, so I've lost four subscribers, yeah, I've just, I've just got a deficit loss of four subscribers, which is, you know, it's disappointing. Um, and the other thing that's slightly disappointing is that it's starting to settle down after I got loads of new sets. This is when I got new sets and so got loads of re new reviews up. And it's starting to settle down now. It's back down to like 2, minus 1, like 6. Like, and this this will be like 2. And so it basically means that when my Lego channel is just doing what it normally does, i.e. no brand new sets basically which is what it is, like the normal channel, the normal channel with the normal content, which is good content, my unique content, it means that it's not doing anything basically, it doesn't have decent performance at all, which is incredibly, incredibly demotivating when there are so many channels that are so shit. Uh, I don't know. Same with lots of my channels, um, fine. Claire's been in Oxford today, so now I'm gonna go and pick her up from her parents' house and then we're gonna go shopping. That's odd. Um... I don't believe that any children live in this flat, so this must belong to me, but I don't know how I put up here. Um, what is it? Oh, okay, yes I do. That's from my bag. That's an exclusive element. Good thing I saw that. Candles in them and have it like by the aisle. Um, 
Hmm? Yeah, no, I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be a bit bare. No, I think that's not a great idea. <laughs> a uh, subscriber actually told me about these and my face lit up when I saw them. Special by American style soda, cream soda, root beer and American grape. And of course, the evil Audi shop goes. I've already got all the grape. Horrifying, horrifying, you know. And so now, unless there's none down there, no, you can't see any down there, can you? That's not one, is it? No, that's not one. Actually, what is that? Ah, it's like root beer, isn't it, mate? Root beer. And now, the uh, Food Review UK owner and founder has to go without, even though loads of not important peasants managed to get them. So, how's that for fair? It's not. Oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god. Fuck me, that's incredible. Oh, is it not open? Um, sorry, I got excited with the uh, transformer commotion. That is incredible. I'm a little bit concerned about Michael. So it's actually been a uh, few days since I last filmed, funnily enough. Not funny, but enough. Um, yeah, just stopped filming basically. Didn't do anything, nothing particularly happened. Uh, it's now Tuesday PM, so I am nipping downtown quickly to see if they've got any Ghostbusters food, because I've got a few pals coming around tomorrow. We're gonna film some Ghostbusters food reviews. I have got two items. I've got some Twinkies and an energy drink. But I just saw, I know they do marshmallows, which I think we've actually reviewed uh, as part of a package, but they might have some different ones. Um, I think there's some other Ghostbusters things as well, but basically I haven't been downtown to QD in a while, so I'm basically just going to be looking there, partly. Started cooking already, doing Dauphinois potatoes and salmon, but yeah, it's sick. Actually a pretty nice day here in Aylesbury. As you can see, pretty nice weather and I'm going to be walking down this path here and it's probably school time so I'm going to stop filming because kids actually no it's close to five o'clock actually so kids won't be around because they don't do a fucking full day of work fuck me fucking hell I haven't walked down this way in ages it's overgrown like bugger like buggery like shrubbery I sometimes wonder if maybe I've got a little bit too much pent up aggression um doesn't even take much to set me off to be honest just you can be mildly rude and it annoys me probably does most people to be fair but um, yeah just had a retail transaction and just she didn't even do anything she just was not thanking me and just being slightly rude and as I walked don't know what that was about but um, as I walked off you know perfectly I'll try and get there try and get there that's fine yeah, oh, definitely still go though. Yeah, definitely. Hashtag red light, fine. Oh God, I'm so sorry, awful. Yeah, green. Um, but yeah. Oh, bloody Becky, how funny. Um, yeah, I know that person who worked with her. Um, yeah, basically, wasn't even, uh, wasn't even anything wrong particularly with what they did. Slightly rude. And as I walked off, I thought, whore. What's that sign of? Hey? Awful, but her fault because she shouldn't have been a cunt. So, uh, no, just be pleasant, be nice, and then everything's fine. Um, but yeah, actually, pretty successful trip. Got an entire bag full of stuff. I got three, three Ghostbusters foods. 
You wouldn't have thought it was even possible, would you? Ghostbusters, they were, they were actually, well, they were <laughs> it was like old Ghostbusters, so a film that is 30 years old plus. Uh, oh, yeah, still loads of merchandise around it. And also went to Poundland, W. H. Smith's. Got a few decent bits. I'm seeing Nate and Gossie on Friday. Uh, so got some stuff to frack for then. And the very nice woman in W. H. Smith's, who wasn't a whore, said that the uh, chocolate I bought was very nice. So that was good customer service and appreciated. So, good. So something I've learned is that the internet loves cats. And there is a cat there, so. What's wrong, lad? Here we go. Yeah. Um, anyway, this is a bit weird. There's loads of jigsaw pieces down there. Bit, well, and the box, actually. So, puzzle, puzzling matter. Puzzling matter indeed. 